This video will explain how to stack logs for your log cabin assembly. Begin by opening a new assembly document. Close out of this and go into the design library. Find the logs. For the base, you want semicircular logs. When you have found one you like, drag it into the assembly. Copy a second one of this log behind it. Right click on the first part you inserted and choose float. Then expand the first part, click on right plane and pick mate. Expand the tree and choose front plane. Click OK. Click on the top plane of the assembly and the top plane of the first part and then click OK. Finally, click on the front plane and the right plane as shown. Sometimes this message will come up. Click here to flip the direction this is mated and then click OK on this message again. Click on the green check and exit out of mates. As you can see, this part is fully defined and cannot be moved. Move this other part into position as shown. Go back into the design library. Now you want circular logs. Put two circular logs into the assembly. Click on X to exit out of this. Click on the design library again. Find pins and choose a pin that is 10 millimeters tall. Insert four of these into the assembly. Click on this face of the pin and then pick mate. Click on this face and click OK to mate them. Now select these two faces and the pin will move into place. Click on this face of the pin and this face of the log. Click OK to add the mate. Click on this face of the base log and this face of the other log and this log will now move into place. Finally you need to fix this so it doesn't rotate along the pin. Select these two faces and choose a perpendicular mate. Click OK. As you can see this component cannot move anymore. Repeat this process for the other side. Now you can also select these two faces and make them parallel or coincident to each other. This acts the same as the previous perpendicular mate since the first log is mated perpendicular to the base log. Click on this pin and this face. The pin will move into place. Do the same thing with the other pin. Meet the bottom of this base log to the bottom of the other base log. Then click on this face of the pin. 
click on this face of the second base log and insert this mate. Repeat this for the other pin. Once you have done this, the second base lock will have moved into place and it will be fixed. Now, you just need to move the pins into place. To do this, click on the bottom of the pin and the bottom of the base lock. Click OK to exit out of inserting mates. This will be the base of your log cabin. Go into the design library, insert pins. Go into logs and insert the shortest log you have created. Mate these pins into place as shown. The bottom of this pin must be touching the top of the previous pin. Don't forget that you will need pins in the middle of these logs as well. Mate these pins as shown. Now move on to stacking these logs. Mate these smaller logs onto the pins. Once you have done this, you will notice an alternating pattern between these logs, where one log will be perpendicular to the previous log. This is how the logs in the log cabin assembly will stack. Go into the design library, find the logs, and choose the smallest semicircular log. This will fit in here, and it will fill in the small gaps. Make this face to the pin. Make this face parallel or coincident to the face of the other log and then move it into place by mating these two faces together. As you can see, this gap has now been filled with this semicircular log. Continue stacking these logs as shown in this video to create your log cabin assembly.